Hi, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to Sneakers by JT. I'm JT. Thank you for tuning in this evening because today I have a very special, not so special video. Hold on, hi. <coughs> What's going on, y'all? JT here, Sneakers by JT, and I got another video for y'all today. And, um, well, as you can see, I got the same shirt on because hopefully this will be a double upload. So hopefully you already seen the last video or maybe this is going to be the first video and I'm posting the other video after this one. And it's not really going to make sense to y'all unless you... What? If you watch both of these videos, you'll understand this is either going to be before or after the video in which I'm wearing this same shirt, but that's not important. What's important is the shoe that I am going to be reviewing this fine evening. Now, I actually didn't pick these up. My boy Chris did. He has not been on this channel. The person you've seen on this channel, Nathan, another dude. This dude is Chris. Probably refuses to be on this channel, but... Chris, I know you're watching, so shout out to you for letting me do the review on these. These, of course, are a retro. You can see by the box with the Jumpman on it. It's upside down. And these, of course, are... Say, of course, like you guys... You guys do know that you clicked on the video. Alright, the Satin Bread Fives. Why this shoe is kind of tough. I feel like Jordan went about this wrong though because satin shoes in general usually fly. Like the satin ones, of course. You got the satin one breads. I do believe they did a satin with the Royals. They might have, I think they did a satin with the Royals, and I know they did the satin shattered backboards as a women's only release. But satin on Jordan's is usually seals the deal but they did release this was a general release did a gr on this so it wasn't as limited i feel like if they limited these this would have been a way bigger deal than it was this is a nice shoe obviously but because they didn't limit it they just put a ton of them out there people didn't see it as big of a deal resellers weren't gonna go crazy for it because they really could have done a limited release on this and this would have been a way bigger deal than it was because the colorway is clean they also could have done the uh, Jim Reds in a satin. People love the Jim Red shoes as it is, so if they threw satin on there, it'd have been a wrap. But I'm gonna pull these out real quick. Here they both go. Of course, you got the bread colorway. Hold on, let me get that up there for you. You got the bread colorway. I'm gonna put this one down. But you got the bread colorway, the all black satin upper, the netting on the side there, and then you got the. Uh, the teeth, black teeth right on here. And of course you got the sole. This is the same sole you see on the uh, the all red ones. Of course, you got the red here and the clear bottom sole with the Jumpman under it. And then you got the uh, silver. The silver, um, silver tongue here. I think it's, I want to say it's 3M. Hold on. Oh yeah. Yep, it's 3M. There it is. You can see kind of there. The uh, 3M on there. It's got that 3M. It's kind of dope. It doesn't really mean anything unless you're taking like a flash picture and you're trying to stunt. I do like when they do put the 3Ms. I know they got the 3M on, um, they do it on most fives now. They did it on the, uh, the suede. Both fives, the suede fives, the blue and the red. But it is a dope touch to have on the fives. A lot of fives, almost all the fives do it. What? Are you happy? You got your. Yeah, there you go. Off you go. They do it on most fives, like I said. They put the uh, 3 on there. It's a cool touch. Most of it, it seems... If they would have done a red tongue on there, I feel like that could have been hard. They kind of just do the 3M for... Ooh. <laughs> kind of effect. I don't know what that was. They kind of do it for that kind of effect, just so... Okay, if you take a flash picture of it, it, it lights up, it looks cool. It's whatever. It's not that big of a deal. If they do it here and there, it's kind of cool, but sometimes they do overdo it with the 3M. But it is a nice touch on here. Can't see it in there, but the uh, insole is red, of course. It's a 5. You can't go wrong. These aren't going to be something that's going to sell out, 
just because they made a ton of them. So if you haven't gotten them and you're interested in picking them up, just go out to your local mall. You should be able to find them. They retail $190. So like depending on what your sales tax is, it's going to be anywhere from like $205, $210, depending on where you live. But regular retro 5 price. If you really want it, pick it up. I don't recommend picking it up if you're trying to sell. If you're a seller, don't pick it up. It's not going to be worth nothing. But it is a hard shoe if you're interested. And if you like fives, definitely pick it up. That's enough talking. I'm going to go ahead and get these on feet. Maybe. Hold on. These ain't been worn yet. I'm not going to just throw these on.